Hey guys, Alex here with CKK Industries. Welcome back to the DIY Knife and Gun Workshop. If you've been following us building our holster making shop, you notice that we have our bench in place, all of our tools are up, and now we have our cutting board surface drilled and mounted to the surface of our workbench. The first thing that we normally do as holster makers, especially with thermoform materials such as Kydex and Holstex, is we need to cut our material down to a workable size. This is a one by one piece of Kydex. I'm going to be using our handy Carpenter Square. This is a 12 inch model. This one has a flange on both sides. Makes it really nice when you want to use it as a backstop on your cutting board and simply slide it down to create that nice straight angle. Okay, so let's say that we're going to use about half of this sheet. We know it's six inches. Put, put your Kydex into your, on your cutting board to the back side, up against the flange of the square. Measure off six inches inside. You can see it on the actual square. You can also put marks on your cutting board surface and line it up to your marks. But get your X-Acto knife out. We'll be using this Myrco Blackie Collins old standard here that lays around our shop. When you come in for your scoring angle, don't take a really steep angle, take a really light angle. Okay? But make sure you go nice and easy down your straight edge when you're scoring it. Coming through your material, lay your blade right up next to your scoring edge and use that as the straight edge to keep your angle correct. Okay? So let's get it back in place, get it back on our mark. Okay? Hold everything down nice and tight with your square, pull it up against the flange, and, and make that first line nice and easy and up against the, the edge of your square. Give yourself a second run. Notice I'm not running it off the cutting board. Okay? Third one will be fine. Get you a nice little line in there. And if you do that correctly, and you do it enough times, you'll notice that your scoring line is nice and deep, and you didn't have to fight it at all. See if I can turn that where you can see. See that? Basically half the material. Now when we want to take it in half, put it on the front of your bench, put the cut side up, and just ease it over the edge. Get it off like that, and basically you got two nice workable sides. See if you can see that. See how straight that is? That makes it so nice when you get ready to work with your material to have a good, clean, even pieces because now I can make two instead of one of whatever it was I'm working on because I got exactly the same size material and I'm ready to go and it didn't take me no time at all. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Consider our way of doing it. We've done it many, many times. It's simple and it's efficient. But if you have a better way, write us and tell us about it and we'll do a video on your process. Thanks a lot, guys. See you on the next video.